Let's make cloud on fire. I know this is weird, but we're gonna do that in Carmine Houdini 20. Hi again, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. Without further ado, let's begin. Okay, until now, we render everything with Karma in Houdini 20, including hair and feather, crowd, RBD bullet solver, and now we're gonna render pyro, cloud, fire, smoke, etc. And honestly, I was wondering, am I missing something in here? Leave me in the comment section. Cool. <coughs> to render pyro, you need fire, smoke, or a cloud. For that, on my Patreon, we did look at the basic of cloud workflow, not in general, because many channels did that. For example, Antigma did a great job. Make sure to watch that. Honestly, those guys are genius. But instead of that, we did this awesome effect. You see? this time lapse cloud <sighs> wow you see that this time shifting or a smoky behavior of the cloud wow i'm always wanted to do that honestly thank you houdini we did a basic uh, cloud generation shape using this awesome node in houdini 20 and convert that as a density uh, with a vdb from a particle and add some wispy noise and we did a cloud to the geometry to do this awesome, uh, you, you may say pyro source spread. Yeah, I talk about that in this video, honestly. And we mix that with the volume mix. And we select these edges, you see that? These edges of the temperature and use that as a fire source for the pyro, this awesome effect. And yeah, we built this network, the cloud and the fire for this demonstration in Karma in Houdini 20. And thank you for these awesome people. Thank you guys. You made my journey much, much easier. And of course, Jose in the house. Thank you, buddy. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, let's begin. We have this sub import, we import our cloud uh, with density field and uh, we have this awesome physical sky. Uh, in, in, in this one, I, I, I want to show you the cloud uh, workflow and the material. And we did a camera and karma setting, XPU, blah, blah, blah. And now you see we have this basic sub network. Uh, sorry, LOP network. And you see, we have uh, this sun and the physical sky. And now let's do a uh, material using material library. And we have this awesome cloud material and pyro material. They, they are uh, uh, similar, but we're gonna use pyro uh, material. We're gonna use that as a cloud material. You see, in here we have this awesome uh, parameter and let's rename that to the cloud and let's assign that where are you this cloud and we have this uh, pay attention volume as a vdb and i want to show you something later on and now uh, we have this density scale you see we can make the cloud uh, more appearance in here and we can uh, reduce the shadow. We, we want to achieve a cloudy look from this pyro material, you see. And we have this awesome node, multi-scatter node, you see. This fall off and this, this one. And I'm not technical, honestly, that much. But I know this uh, parameter is so uh, handy for cloud uh, look, you see that this one will make the the cloud and the, the scattering color pop up. You see, and you see that, and that's honest. 
uh, that's so good honestly and yeah we can uh, bring that up you see for example two three let's go three and let me show you see that awesome uh, uh, highlight of the sun you can achieve awesome uh, look with these two parameter but yeah uh, make sure to check this two material in the multi scatter and yeah you see that this is an awesome look for the cloud i use this uh, principle for this uh, for this uh, uh, time-lapse uh, cloud in here. And now we're gonna bring the cloud in the studio, not in the sky. <laughs> this is uh, a weird, but I did a great uh, 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 sub in here. Okay, and I delete the physical sky and now we're gonna do uh, area light and blah 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 let's uh, let's bring it up up okay maybe the density and yeah we have our uh, uh, our cloud and studio decent uh, lighting and now we're gonna import our fire okay for the fire let's select the pyro null uh, node i ma uh, make that you see we have this awesome volume field and you see that we have the velocity the flame and the density and temperature but we need just uh, the temperature and the flame sorry just the flame so in here we did a, another material a pyro material and let's rename that to the fire for example and let's assign that okay where are you fire and volume underline zero and yeah where is the fire okay let's see we definitely missing something in here okay okay let's enable fire but nothing let's increase that again nothing okay i was wondering what is the problem okay in binding we need to uh, change that to the flame but nothing this is embarrassing honestly but yeah let me see what is the problem a few moments later okay i found the problem you see oh, that's so frustrating uh, we have this uh, unnecessary volume in the first place this is not the main problem let, let me show you i want to delete uh, unnecessary uh, field in here for example the density velocity and let's select the velocity and let's use this sign here okay we have the f uh, the flame and the temperature but you see uh, in the cloud we have uh, let me convert that you see in you we need to convert that to the vdb because solaris uh, just accept vdb for uh, uh, for the rendering you see that uh, in the cloud we had that as a vdb but in the pyro we need to convert the field as a vdb and voila we have our fire so that was the catch so pay attention to that convert any fill to vdb please okay and now uh, with that we have uh, this fire uh, material using pyro material and we can uh, increase the intensity you see that this is an awesome and karma i guess optimize uh, render engine to uh, pyro and <clears throat> uh, cloud or smoke uh, object or field in here and you see we, we can uh, bring uh, the light down and the fire will emit uh, the scene with uh, this light you see that and this is an awesome uh, and cool uh, effect in here and yeah this is straightforward honestly it's not too much in here you can uh, use uh, some preset for the look of the fire for instance black body but uh, the the default setting it's so good so with that this is the brief look for the cloud 
or pyro in karma in houdini 20 and with that i see you in the next one have a good day peace out